bending news. All right, hello. Uh, it's not a false alarm. We're this stream was scheduled. I don't even remember what how long ago it was. I guess it was. We skipped two streams, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um. A week late, but okay, I anyway. See that it's live. Uh, I got COVID. So, and I am mostly recovered, but I just had this coughing fit start like 20 minutes ago. So. I'm struggling a little bit, but we got Anna. She's very short. <laughs> I can't see the game currently. Well, oh yeah, she is a child. I mean, they did call her a child, but that's mm -hmm. that's kind of funny. Hey James, heavy smoker. Yeah, that's actually what gave me COVID. Yeah, he bummed a, he bummed a fag from the wrong person. Oh, but also, Michael, I still can't see the game if you're playing. Oh, um, well, that's, that's your problem. <laughs> uh, Hello, Fujin! Welcome! Yes, I did get COVID, yeah. It wasn't, yeah, uh, it wasn't a pleasant experience, uh, which may or may not be a surprise. You know, you know, Fujin, it, it was startling when I said it the first time. <laughs> I, think, I think I looked at YouTube. Oh, uh, what's the word for? Catacombs claim that for a phrase. The big, biggest Let's issue I'm see. having now is that I just can't get... I cannot get the, the mucus out of my lungs. It just like alternates between mm -hmm. being in my lungs or being in my throat. I cannot get it out. Right. I've tried everything. So like the coughing... Hey, is, another dog. Let's go. The this. coughing is useless because... It's just gonna fall right back into my lungs. <laughs> Well, when you cough it up, it shouldn't flow back into your lungs. That just means you're reducing it at such a rate that it's... <laughs> no, I can... Because like I can a, feel where it is. It, I cough it up, and I can feel it in my throat. And then I swallow, but it doesn't... I don't swallow it into my stomach. It it, it just doesn't go up high enough or something, and it, it slips back down into my lungs. I swear. Uh, I, I, that's not how the biology is supposed to work, is it? Okay, maybe I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> but that's what yeah, it feels I'm, I'm, like. Because, I mean, because I tried, I tried down, spitting it. I tried spitting choking. it out too, but like I literally can't. Like I, I feel it in my my fucking throat. I don't know. Well, Fujin, Michael did say that he's winning the fight against COVID. I'm winning. It's yeah. just it's getting some <laughs> licks in. Yeah, so like he's winning overall. It's kind of like the UFC. Victory doesn't always look the cleanest, but you know, you still get the yeah. belt in the end. So. Now, um, in other news, mm -hmm. I just found out something. Um, do you know who Joji is? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. He's the guy who uh, invented the Harlem Shake. That is insane. I did not know that was the same guy. Yeah. Bro, yes. It's funny because I don't really like that song that's, uh, what is it? Well, he didn't make a the song. He didn't make the song, but the trend of using no, 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 no not, not the Harlem Shakes. I'm talking about the music that he's doing now. Oh, Joji's. Yeah, I only yeah. like I like one or two songs, but yeah, they're mostly really bad. And Glimpse I mean, of Us yeah. is the one that's playing all everyone on TikTok. It, it's okay. I just it's okay. Don't yeah. think it's all that crazy. Um, <clears throat> oh, did not know that I was trashing the the god. The himself. guy. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. The song that That's I kind funny. of like, uh, Slow Dancing in the Dark, is kind of okay. That sounds familiar, but I don't think I know it off the top of my head. Um, Filthy Frank, well, that's great. And Attention. I like Attention and Slow Dancing in the Dark. And Glimpse okay, of I'll go check them out. Fine. Those are the, like, the only three redeemable songs. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll have to check out the others. Just to see how irredeemable they are. Glimpse of Us makes my skin crawl a little bit. Yeah, it's, no, it's a I, decent I song. It's just the lyrics are okay. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The music is yeah, fine. Yeah, the yeah. lyrics are like, uh... yeah, like I'm imagining the type of dude that I could. Have, I could... <clears throat> exactly. You ever seen a promposal and you're like, oh god, it's coming. It, it's this guy. Yeah. That's that. It's got promposal energy. 
Oh, we got a so two, got two a silver Let's go fusion with the promotions. Nice, Sorry. nice. I'm happy for you. <clears throat> I hope mine is coming up soon. I was, I'm eligible for it as of this week. So they need to tell me next week that I'm promoted. Congratulations. I have not played this game in a while. He looks so ridiculous in that outfit. Yeah, he does look a little ridiculous yes. in that outfit. But what's even more ridiculous is that they stand there only to go get Alfred. Why are you even here, dog? How hard do you want to yeah, that's so... That's a, yeah. Just have Alfred stand. <laughs> I'll go get Alfred. What is the point? Perfect. I was hoping at some point today we could talk about... The burden of proof and agnosticism. Perfect. Because huh. I got into a debate with some people. Looking good. And it's, was this uh, on TikTok? Uh, no, it was on Facebook actually. You got this. Oh man, I missed the <laughs> Facebook. Well, I don't wear on Facebook anymore. <laughs> yeah, like I don't post anything pretty much ever. Great job. I'm so proud. There's some I'd be thinking here. about starting up something or like making a post or doing another confession, mm -hmm. and then I'm like. <sighs> That ain't gonna work. Let's Why would I do that if I have to go to work? Well, we can start it now while cool you're here, Fusion. I doubt many people would be interested in it anyway, other than maybe Benjamin. I feel like yeah. most of our community tends to chime in on these, if not like one-liners here and there. Well, Fusion's been starved for it recently. <laughs> it's not soon. Hey, Kryptonite, what's up? Hello, Kryptonite. All right, now Kryptonite's um, here, we can start. <clears throat> so the post, well, it's in a, this atheist meme group and mm -hmm. i actually i'm not a fan of the community like at all because it's it's full of um crusties. it's full of some crusty some there's some really good people there it's a it's pretty diverse i mean like there's a lot of theist trolls who join um <laughs> <clears throat> who make just the most ridiculous posts and they're funny to laugh at because they're serious yeah i just feel like a theistic troll it, is, is only trolling themselves <laughs> to, to me to, i don't know anybody who takes atheism that seriously that they can yeah, be trolled yeah. um unless uh, they're one of the crusties but you know, but and so you know funny. like and then there's you know some crusty atheists there are some pretty transphobic and even some homophobic mm. uh, atheists like some pretty pretty right-wing atheists in there which you can kind of imagine because it's supposed to be a dark meme uh group like atheist Dark oh, humor. like dark humor. Um, and like the thing is, I think you can you can actually have dark humor that's in good taste that isn't punching down. But it's not a line that everyone understands, uh, and mm -hmm. not a line that everyone cares about. So yeah, no, there's a lot of stuff that I just I uh, find pretty distasteful. It's that I don't even necessarily consider dark humor. Uh, yeah, I think the <clears throat> conversation on punching down is also interesting because a lot of people think that it's where you stand in relation to somebody. That makes it punching down as opposed to like the actual observation that you're making yeah um, pretty much anything that comes boils down to this is different outside of my norm and you get pity laughs mm -hmm. or pity agreement right because of your relation to that group i don't i, I think that's by definition punching down but i don't mind you know like observations on marginalized group it needs to be included in the conversation but yeah, it, yeah I, observations I aren't necessarily <laughs> negative Right. Or insulting. That can be funny. They can definitely and they can be, be funny. funny. Yeah. Without being insulting. But if it's like <laughs> different equals less than ha ha ha, it's like okay, okay, dude, cool. I guess. Um. The is true. Yeah. So to be well, they're they're not pretending or anything, but they're they're joining a group that is explicitly meant for atheists. Um, to get a rise out of us, um, by asking a bunch of bad faith questions. So that's, that's what I meant. Um, but anyway... Which is funny, because <clears throat> they're the ones who are supposed to have the good faith <clears throat> with, with Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, two different, completely different terms, but the same words. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Uh, it's funny. <clears throat> okay. No holding back. Uh, but the, the uh, burden of proof. Opponent? Yeah, so this guy made a post saying and he worded it terribly um oh my god <laughs> oh my mad thing, yeah. 
she shit in your mouth. That's crazy. Okay, you, uh, you go, can go ahead. You go ahead. The training, training. Okay. I'll, I'll just uh, let you talk. Well, I was gonna say, since I'm talking, could you take up, pick up? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. So this guy made this post, and he said, um. He said, if you are an atheist that rejects agnosticism, which is a very weird sentence, um, but if you're an atheist that rejects agnosticism, then you're making a claim. And he's, he, the way he phrased that was just asking for people to not understand what he's saying, which is, I find annoying, but let me translate. And I explained this to someone else, and this OP liked that comment, so I assume that my translation is a good one. But what he was mm -hmm. actually saying is, if you claim with certainty that no gods exist, then you have the burden of proof that you're making a claim and you can't just say, oh, no gods exist, prove me wrong. <laughs> Nobody's proven me otherwise, therefore I know that no gods exist. <clears throat> oh god. Okay. Just wanted to slow mo Jean's inevitable defeat. That was weird. I'm glad it didn't crash all the way though. Um, so I agree with his point. You do have the burden of proof the moment you start saying any claim, whether it's a positive or a negative claim. And that's one of the arguments I got with somebody. It's mm -hmm. pretty funny because he started saying that um, you have to um, uh, that, that you only have the burden of proof if you're making a positive claim, and that the negative claim doesn't have the burden of proof. And that's, yeah, that's... and then he shared me a, a link, and I read it because I was actually questioning, wait, is he right about this? And I read the link that he sent me, and his link said no such thing. Um, <laughs> and in fact, when it got to the, sub, the subsection on negative claims, all it said about negative claims is that they're harder to prove. And that's, that's my point. That's one of my points. Is that it's irrational to be a Gnostic atheist, somebody who says certainty, no gods exist. It's a very irrational position because it is impossible to test that claim. It is impossible to prove that claim. It's just as irrational as being a Gnostic, uh, as a Gnostic theist. Like, you, you just simply cannot test whether or not there's a god. And to be Gnostic on that position is absolutely insane to me. Um... And then there were, I mean, most of the debate was around just what the words mean and confusion on what kinds of people are included in the umbrella of atheism. A lot of people were saying that, that, um, um, that Gnostic, basically it's saying that Gnostic people don't exist. And it's funny because there was a guy saying, I'm a Gnostic atheist and I'm, I engaged with that guy because I'm like, you know, you're probably not an idiot, but you do hold a rational belief, and you don't understand what the burden of proof is. <laughs> what? So, I, no, no, it's just, <clears throat> the way you introduced that was hilarious. You're probably not an idiot. Well, he's probably not. I will say. Yeah, go ahead. One thing I will say is that when we're talking about the burden of proof, <clears throat> my understanding is that any claim that is made only has to be proven if your intent behind making the claim is for others to agree. Right, like yeah, if you're trying, yeah, no, that's that's totally true. If you're actually trying to change somebody's mind, just all that's all right. that's happening is you won't change their mind. Um, yes. So it's not like the burden of proof isn't an obligation to provide evidence for the mm -hmm. claim that you make, but the problem is when you shift the burden of proof, then you're making a logical fallacy. When you say that I know what I'm saying is true because no one has proven me wrong. Right. And I think what and people mean yeah. to say in these cases is that because no one can prove me wrong, I am entitled to believe what I currently yeah. believe. And you're entitled to believe that, question. but not because nobody can prove you wrong. It's still right. a logical fallacy. Well, the <clears throat> I guess the entitlement isn't directly related to nobody having proved you wrong, but they're yeah. saying that they're an otherwise rational person because yeah, yeah, if yeah. proven exactly. wrong, they would exactly. have their belief. That's, so, yeah. so when I'm engaging with this guy, I'm thinking... You are probably somebody who thinks, who believes that you care about rationality and rules of logic mm -hmm. and 
logical fallacies. You're probably somebody who cares about those things. Yet you're committing one of them. And it's one that theists commit all the fucking time. Um, and yet, no phrasing that I provide can make them aware of that, and that's just, like, super frustrating. Um, I don't know. So in other words, the issue is <clears throat> any claim to certainty is that you are... But it's, it's specifically because they're entering, like, this debate claim certainty without having to mm. advertise as certainty over other people's certainty. My mm. certainty is better than your certainty. Why? Well, duh, because I believe it is. Well, that's yeah. not rational. You're not rational. Like, I, I get what you're saying on how these people who believe that they're rational aren't necessarily <laughs> providing any proof or evidence, but they believe that it's up to you to prove that they're not rational as opposed to up to them to mm -hmm. establish that they are. Um, so, I'm, I'm yes. feeling a lot better tonight, thank you. Um, but yeah, that Gnostic atheist um, was providing an argument that I myself have had to use many, many times, as if, like, I've never heard it before. Saying that, like, mm -hmm. I'm only refuting the theists and their claim. Therefore, mm -hmm. the burden of proof is on them. I don't, they, you know, it's not up to me to, to, prove, to prove this. And I'm like, that point is only valid when you are merely um, uh, denying their claim. But you didn't stop there. You, it, there's two scenarios where the, mm -hmm. the theist says, I, God, God exists. And then the atheist says, I don't believe you, prove it. Okay, mm -hmm. the burden of proof is on the theist. Um, and if the, if the theist were to say, well, no, you prove me wrong, then the theist has committed the fallacy and shifted the burden of proof. Um, but the atheist mm -hmm. is just saying, I, I don't believe you. Um, you can prove this, otherwise you won't be changing my mind. Or you can try to prove this, but you won't be changing my mind unless you, you actually try. Um, or the theist can say, God exists. And then the atheist can say, I don't believe you. Also, no gods exist. Okay, you've made, now you've made a claim. And you're both making a claim, and you both have the burden of proof. The burden of proof isn't something that only goes to one person. It goes to anyone the moment they make a claim. Um... Yeah, so like this guy is, is uh, specifically claim over <clears throat> over someone else's claim or claim over yeah, someone else's stance. It, it, well, what, what trips people up is to, well two things: the negative claim, which I mentioned. People get tripped up mm -hmm. when they're making a negative claim, and they think that negative claims don't don't uh, offer a burden of proof when they do. And then the other issue right. is that they didn't make the claim first; that their claim is in response to someone else's claim. Yeah. And, like, that doesn't absolve you of your burden. Um, just because of the context mm -hmm. leading up to you making a claim with somebody else making a claim. Like, you yourself have still made a claim. Um, it's interesting. When we were in science uh, with Mr. Blunt, we <laughs> talked about how people used to think that the world was flat, and also they thought that if you put grain, water, and, like, a towel in a closet, it produced mice. Like, that's uh -huh. alchemy. That's how mice <clears throat> produced. And so... When we're talking about the negative claim, a, a negative claim can be, you know, looked at as this thing doesn't exist. You have to prove that it does, right? Until we mm -hmm. have evidence, we assume that it doesn't exist. But you can also kind of view that as a appeal to what's the what's we're looking for? Like the oh my goodness, what's that thing that means what we currently know? Like our current frame of you like appeal to the paradigm? Does that make sense? Um, do, do you get what I'm saying? I I mean, is that not? I mean, it's. It's like a appeal to okay. igno ignorance, but the appeal to ignorance is, is kind of misleading because it, it addresses two things. Uh, mm -hmm. It sounds like it only addresses one, but also addresses the thing you're talking about, I believe. It's like appeal to ignorance okay. is um, basically okay. we don't have the science to explain this, therefore X is true. Uh, right, right. And you can't make that therefore X is true. Because yeah. any time that you're making a claim, so I, I think you're talking about the appeal to evidence. evidence. <clears throat> okay. But the point is, whether you're making a negative claim or a positive claim, any time you're making a claim, again, has to be substantiated. Many people get into this <laughs> habit of assuming that because they're making a claim that's in line with our current understanding of things, or that it's against another claim, they don't have to prove it. That, that's all. Right. 
thank you for doing that because I was lagging so bad I couldn't even walk on a straight line. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting some some notifications, so the connection okay, isn't. Okay, thank you. For well, yeah, I meant for the YouTube stream, but oh, for the YouTube my, stream. Maybe okay. my internet's struggling in general and it's causing both. But um. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Matas? Oh man. Yeah. Hey, Matas, digging the new profile picture, even though it's a, <clears throat> a garbage. No. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually don't mind Amber. Uh, I don't mind. I haven't heard the voice actor besides that alpaca noise, which was glorious. It, it was it honestly, was in hindsight, one of the best things Fireball has produced. But it's like my first introduced introduction to the first sound this character made. A bit jarring. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other thing, which was like, I guess the main focus of the, the things I was debating on was just... Mm -hmm. The fact that people don't really know... Are we done here? I think we've done everything. Yeah, I was gonna... Alright, Fujin, yeah, let me know how it feels to be promoted. <clears throat> It'll give me something to look forward oh. to. Of course. Are you ready to give this a shot? Or is the delay gonna be too bad? Um, I mean, I could give it a, a shot. God. We did it last time. <laughs> yeah, I um, like try you out if it likes you. Um... People, yeah, no, people usually think that ag agnostic is like in between atheism and theism. No. And that results in so much confusion. Where were too, you soon? too soon? How? I think I did it so late that it went oh. into the next one, so it said too soon. That's funny. Um, it's like people calling it agnostics like cowards and centrists and, and all these things. I'm like, mm -hmm. most people are agnostic. Um, and it's also just super frustrating for people thinking? who refuse to call themselves atheists, but call themselves agnostic. I, I get mm -hmm. very tired. And I know it's a semantic debate, and I don't generally care to get into those. Like, I, I do. I think words can be flexible and stuff. But the problem is that these... <sighs> create so many divisions and so much confusion like there's uh, <clears throat> an actual like negative consequence of the ways these words are misunderstood and it frustrates the hell out of me you know it probably shouldn't <laughs> okay uh, this is so frustrating well for for a good reason because the first two fish bit immediately <clears throat> and again i don't think i can time okay, it I'll try, so i'm I'll trying try, to I'll try this one yeah, I'm trying to preempt it. And now they're waiting me out. No. But I do know what you mean. I mean, obviously, I was taught that agnosticism was, you know, a matter of uh, not knowing which god or where the god. It's just in between. You got atheists, you got theists, <clears throat> who all have you know, some measure of certainty. Um, a stunning or at least a, a stance on God and the agnostics are in the middle basically saying I mm -hmm. don't want to be a part of the conversation whereas technically speaking um, atheist only means not theistic as opposed to right. anti-theist so it is so, a true yeah. dichotomy Pick a rod. so <clears throat> hey pork but, I think we'll have fun hey pork nasal alpaca noise <laughs> Uh, thank you for the well wishes. <clears throat> what is a pork cutlet bowl? Is uh, that like ramen? That feels like a ramen dish. It is. I think it has noodles. Um, it's uh, but it's a reference to um, uh, the ice skating anime. What's that called? IQ on ice. Uh, Yuri on ice. <clears throat> but close. That was actually called Yuri on ice. That's funny. We're doing real talk, and the stream is the choppiest it's ever been. <laughs> Fuck. I guess we're gonna have to have this conversation all over again, aren't we? Yeah. Not that I mind. Catch us on Sunday <clears throat> next time. Um. Hey, it happens. Honestly, I, I'm pretty chill because I've been pissed off at everything lately. I'm pissed off at the lack of time that I have, how much overtime I put into work, which isn't a ton. It's like you know. 
two to three extra hours a week. But God damn it, that's my fucking time, bro. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, different small inconveniences here and there. But I'm of the opinion that even if the stream is choppy, it doesn't really matter. I'm still going to be wearing food eventually. God, that is okay. Yeah, I was looking at them like, Michael, you could probably just catch any fish <laughs> like that in one go. Yeah, this is one of the easiest fishing mini games. Mm -hmm. Were so were you wa waiting until the A pops up, or were you pressing A the moment it starts dipping in? The moment it starts dipping. Okay, in. that's why that you're supposed to wait. The dipping in just means it's 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 coming, so be ready. You're not supposed to press A until the actual A button shows up. Um, but the thing would come back up before like I feel like when I've done it before and when you were doing it when it sinks you click the A button right but I would click the A button <laughs> and the bobber would come all the way back up before it oh I guess you don't have any more chances to try yeah I'd like I'm to a see little bit confused now because it, it starts yeah. dipping down a few times and you're not supposed to press anything right right I'm talking okay. about when it's completely under the water okay. like the A button was huh. there yeah. Huh. I'm saying the first two times I, I cast mm -hmm. the fish bit immediately it sank it on the first go yeah, and I click it and it would say too soon because it didn't kick in until the next go round like I had missed the actual sink for small fish if you uh, fish the dog to smash A is the HP still for them to escape huh I thought you were only able to mash A whenever um, it's stunned Okay. Oh, 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 because, like, they'll never make it to the end. Because hmm. I think if they swim off the thing... Oh. That, that makes sense. Uh, training. Oh, that's the skirmish, too. Alright, so we got Anna. <clears throat> we got two minutes of characters, actually. Let's go ahead and begin the chapter. I also still don't have audio. Um, not that that's oh, a huge deal. Yeah, but... it's frustrating, though, because it's, like, it's a parsec thing, and... Per sec I'm just, does that. Like, it'll just. It's very inconsistent with its audio settings, and you don't mm -hmm. actually have control over those settings. He's headed to the front line. Okay. <laughs> Our orders are to wait here with a rear guard. Will do. Here, take this. The ring? Is, that, is that the Roy ring? You didn't yeah. Give it to your father? I tried. He wouldn't take it. The king said that if anything should happen, he wants you to keep my ring safe. But what if he needs it? It's a smart king. What the fuck are you talking about? <clears throat> I'm sorry. The divine dragon should have the rings. Easy choice. Sense of pride. He wants to stand in his own strength, and that's us to respect that. <sighs> I understand. I'm just not sure our enemies will have the same code of honor. Let's be at the ready. If push comes to shove, I want to be able to help. It's a plan. Agreed. It looks like the battle has begun. King needed Whoa, therapy, but pretty. he goes for Yeah, we're gonna win. I can <clears> tell by the blue armies. Still, I would really like something of um, the Tellius, more of a Tellius style. Your invasions of my country come at a very high What do you mean? Uh, it's just. And now you will. Oh, there's it. something about Talius. <laughs> Do you really think you can withstand the might of Just feels right. I don't understand about like the graphics. Because that can be improved on. <laughs> it's just a style that I I'm sorry, you said you you're wanting something. The Talius like style. The game. Yeah, just the style. Like animation wise? Uh animation or environment, cutscenes. Okay. <clears throat> well then, is that all the power your dragon's got? He is not yet at full strength. Not until the ritual. Ritual. The one by which we shall reignite his true glory. And for that. Yeah, not the voice acting. We could do without the Tully's voice acting. I'm I'm really sorry this stream is choppy. That that really pisses me off.
He would have survived with one HP if he had Roy's ring. <laughs> oh, bro, that's kind of hardcore. <clears throat> This battle for our king. Well, he's not getting any lighter. Come we on. know what to do, Your Majesty. See you later. My father. They're trying to take him away. We won't let them. So you say. But you are wrong. Princess Ivy. Whatever the cost, we will hold them here, child. Yes. Oh, and Ivy. Don't forget that ring was given to you by our Lord Sombron. Your failure to protect it was a grievous one. <laughs> it is your duty to reclaim the ring now. I take my leave to Illusia. Wait, what Do ring? Do not fail me again. Did we take one from her? So, you want me to buy time for you as I die here? That's a good question. I don't know why he said reclaim. <clears throat> You're not going to stop us. We have to get King Morian back from them right now. We have to. I don't think we took the ring from her. But also, it's been so Where's long since we've played. She lost the leaf ring to us last time. Okay. Okay, so we did get the leaf. Okay, I guess we just didn't play after that. The storm keeps getting harsher. So I'm pretty sure nobody used the leaf ring. We must drive back Princess Ivy's forces. Dragging away father like that. What could King Hyacinth be planning? How do you pronounce the king's name? Uh, Hyacinth? King? Hyacinth? Okay. I've seen that word in so many, you know, JRPGs. I never knew how to pronounce it. Oh, five people. Am I... Okay, so if I do one, okay. two, three, four, five. <clears throat> that feels right. Yeah, because I'm not <sighs> using any of them. Alright, go ahead and bench all Chris, and I'll take Fran.